Hi, and welcome to week seven of Engineering at Home. This week, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple keyhole surgery simulator using a cardboard box and other craft supplies. After that, we're gonna make some tools to use on your simulator. To do this challenge, you're gonna need a large cardboard box as well as a camera-enabled device such as a smartphone or a tablet. For those of you who are super squeamish, I'm not gonna be using any gory images, but I might use the occasional surgical term. Keyhole surgery is a modern surgical technique which broadly speaking allows surgeons to look inside the body and make repairs without the need for open surgery. It's much quicker than open surgery and most patients will be in and out of hospital within a day or two. This type of surgery requires specialist tools and lots and lots of training. Flexible cameras called endoscopes are put inside the body to give the surgeons a magnified view of the area. Specially adapted surgical tools are then placed inside the patient either to make repairs or to remove something that shouldn't be there. Before surgeons work with real life patients, they have to clock up hundreds of hours on these simulators, which normally look a little bit like this. These trainers normally cost thousands of pounds, and we're gonna have a go at making one out of items that we can find at home. For the simulator itself, we're gonna use a large cardboard box. Now bear in mind, mine doesn't look very pretty, but hopefully it will serve its function. I figured it's easy just to show you once it's completed. So you can see here, I've got my phone on the top. There's a little hole there where the camera and the torch can poke through. And I've also got two holes there which the keyhole surgery tools can go through. When you open it up, I'll just bring this camera around. You can see that I've gone for a couple of squishy balloons to act as organs. And I'll just line the inside there. So that's gonna simulate the inside of our patient. Like so. Before we can simulate keyhole surgery, we're going to need to make some tools. Now I'm going to try and fashion some sort of grabby devices, and to do that I've actually got various different resources here in front of me. I've got some straws, I think these are going to be key um, to my designs. I've got some bamboo skewers, um, do be careful if you're using something like this, they're very pointy. Um, some cocktail sticks, they might come in useful. I've got various different um, tubes, cardboard tubes, um, paper clips, some craft sticks. Again, pipe cleaners, I think these might, be, these might come in really handy and um, some, if the string frays too easily, I've got some more of this uh, ribbon here as well. Um, probably the most important bit that I've got here is uh, my sellotape. I think that's gonna come in handy as an adhesive. Um, so I think it's time to start crafting. Now I come up with four different types of tool. Um, we've got a simple hook made with a paper clip and some straw. Again, those straws come in very handy. And here we've got a loop that we've used a pipe cleaner to make. This one's a little bit more tricky, a bit more sophisticated. It's a loop which we can tighten. And that is facilitated by attaching a bamboo skewer. As we extend, it loosens the loop and then we can tighten it to tighten close the loop and then finally we have this um, trident with three prongs that we can use um, to spear anything a little bit squishier um, that we can't grab with any of the other three tools okay so these are the four that I come up with but I'm sure you can come up with plenty more of your own you can set yourself various different challenges I've included a few different ones in the brief don't worry if you've not got all the required materials, you can adapt the challenges or come up with some different challenges of your own. Mine are just there for a few starting points. For this challenge, I've placed 10 different size balls of Bluetech into the simulator and I'm gonna try and use various different tools that I've made to try and extract them as quickly as I can. Um, I'm gonna give myself one minute to do it, so hopefully that's enough time. Oh, 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 oh,
Now at this point you'll see that my timer has elapsed, but I wanted to give the adjustable loop grabber a go. I was pleasantly surprised with how well it functioned, uh, even managed to grab some of the smaller objects. I could try and improve my times on this first activity, getting as many as I can in under a minute, uh, but I thought I'd show you another challenge. And the uh, second activity will be to reattach a ligament, in this case a bit of string, and you want to try and get that into a figure of eight configuration, like so. Now I've sped this one up for you to save you watching my excruciating attempt in real time. Uh, this challenge is a fair bit more difficult than the first one. Uh, one key feature of keyhole surgery is that you lose your depth perception as you're viewing the environment in 2D on a screen rather than 3D in real life. Um, I'd urge you guys to give this one a go. Uh, it's definitely more challenging than the first activity. And now it's over to you to have a go. Remember to share your videos with the hashtag engineering at home and we'll like and share our favorites. You'll find guides online as well as in the description below. And you can find plenty more examples of projects on our YouTube channel or on our social media. Good luck.